guys, it's Luke from Retro Revival here, and as you can see today, I am doing another custom LEGO minifigures video, and tis the season. And what I mean by this is, we are coming up to probably the best day of the year, Christmas Day. And I absolutely love Christmas, and one of my favourite things about Christmas is Christmas movies. And the movie that these guys are from is kind of a Christmas movie. It's kind of like Die Hard, where it is a Christmas movie, but it also isn't, and people always debate whether it is or not. And this movie is, of course, Gremlins. Now, I absolutely love Gremlins. This is probably like the first, I guess you could call it a horror movie. It's like kind of not, but also is. But I guess you could say this is the first horror movie I ever watched, and I absolutely love this film, mainly because Gizmo is so goddamn cute. But also, I just think it's a really fun concept for a movie. And if you are into horror, or if you want to get into horror, it's definitely one to watch. But anyway, enough of that. You guys are here for the figures, and we have two figures today. We have Stripe and Gizmo. Gizmo is, of course, the uh, the good guy, and of course, Stripe is the bad guy. So, guys, without further ado, let's get into the figures. So, guys, the first figure is, of course, Gizmo. The cutest, cutest thing ever. Well, except from Baby Yoda, I guess. I guess you could say this guy is like the Baby Yoda of the last generation. Tell you what, guys, tell me in the comments below who is cuter, Gizmo or Baby Yoda. Anyway, I'm going to do as I always do on these figures. I'm going to start off with the head and work my way down. So, let's go over to the top. And this is actually a custom head mold. This looks absolutely amazing. Of course, Gizmo is the only person to have this head mold. So let's start off with the top. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a quite a light patch on the top of his head. Not very easy to see, but it is there, trust me. And this is the same kind of like pale color as his ears. So in fact, let's go over to the ears right now. And this is of course pale. And these just look really nice. They're molded really well with little notches in both sides of the ears these just look great so then let's go over to the main part of his head which is mainly brown you can see a little bit of fur right there just on the tips of the ears he also has a white patch around his eyes and his eyes are pretty accurate too the big brown eyes and he's also got this little patch down here where his mouth is and the little tip of his nose and this head is absolutely perfect so let's go down to the torso and this is mainly white because in the movie he has a big furry white crest and there's a little bit of brown surrounding it. You can see where they've tried to make it look like it's fur. He also comes with this little cookie. I don't know why he's got that, but okay. I guess it kind of fits with the character. And then we go onto the legs. This is actually my biggest problem with this figure, is that the legs are supposed to carry on with the top half really well, and they just don't. This white is nowhere near to the same color as this white, so it kind of just ruins it. Also, I failed to mention these are actually the short legs. So guys, if you go onto the side, you can see there's no printing on the arms or the legs, but the arms are brown and the hands are this pale color. However, you can see the side of this amazing head mold a lot better. And you can see that the face is actually molded outwards as well as to the sides. And then on the back, there's no printing at all. However, you can see there's a little bit of the paint rubbing off there where it's this original pale color, which is a little bit of a shame. And so guys, the second figure is Spike the evil gremlin, or as I should say, the leader of the evil gremlins. And as you can see, this figure is a lot more detailed than Gizmo. So let's start off at the top and work our way down. So here at the top, you can see why he has his name. And this is because of the large white stripe of hair he has at the top. And then under this is his face with a lot of detail there, a lot of dots over the eyes. And then he's got these big uh, yellow and red eyes and his big scary grin. And he's also got these two huge ears. However, the printing is not great on these ears at all, which kind of lets down the figure a little bit. And this mold is also custom to this figure, just like Gizmo's. However, I would say Gizmo's head mold is actually better than this one. But anyway, let's go down to the torso. And this is quite similar to Gizmo's, where it's mainly this one color with this different color around it. However, it's kind of like a swap. So instead of him having a load of fur around the middle, it's like this horrible lumpy skin. And I feel like this figure, the printing has done it really well. You can sort of see like the outline of his skeleton right here. And you can see all the lumpy and horrible flaps of skin everywhere. It's also surrounded by this really dark green color. And this just looks great. Then going down to the legs, he actually has the goat legs, similar to the Demogorgon from the Stranger Things set of figures. Where you can see the horrible pale lumpy clump of skin just going down to his legs as well and a little bit more detail just under that on each leg and you can't see it on the camera but he does actually have some very dark red claws at the bottom of his toes 
And as we go to the side of this figure, you can see it a little bit better. It's got some more stripes on his arms of this horrible skin. This is actually done really well. It's got a faint red outline to each one of these. And there's no printing on the legs, but you can see the shape of the legs a little bit better. And you can also see a little bit at the top where the paint is rubbing off the white stripe as well which is also a bit of a shame. And now on the back of the figure, there's no printing on the back of the legs. However, there is some more stripes of this horrible skin on the back of the torso and on the back of the ears. So guys, here are the figures at the end. And as I always do in these videos, I'm going to say which one is my favorite and which one is my least favorite. And I'm actually really torn on this one. I'm not sure whether I prefer Stripe or Gizmo. So I know it's a bit of a cop out, but um, I'm going to say I like both of these just as much as each other. I do have a few problems with each, but overall, I think these guys are great, absolutely awesome figures. So guys, there we have it, the last Saturday video before Christmas. And if you guys are interested, on Christmas Day, I'm going to have my Christmas special, so watch that. And then the day after, which will be a Saturday, you will have another video on that day. So you can have two videos back to back. And if you are interested, I guess you could call this a horror movie, and I have two other custom lego minifigures videos related to horror movies on my channel so go and check them out right now and of course have a very merry christmas so guys i hope you've enjoyed this video i've been luke from retro revival like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all later bye